Good morning. Let's see. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Ms. Cynthia Pruin Colfer. Associate Superintendent, Ms. Annie Bowie. So today, we, we get to not unveil the gift that was given to us by uh, Ms. Nancy Neal from class of 66, but just to give you a little information, students um, sitting in front of us, I graduated in 1990, a uh, warrior, and will always be a warrior. So being here is really special for me in many ways. And I think every time I meet an alumni, or every time a former student or current student comes up to me and just shares what this school means to them is really special. Throughout the last six years, I've had the honor of meeting alumni after an alumni. In the front row, we have a couple of alumni, and you know, with Stephen keeping our Facebook alive, we've been able to connect with hundreds and hundreds of alumni, and everyone comes back and wants to give back to their school and to their community in different ways. About three, three and a half years ago, four, I believe, I got an email um, from Miss Neil, and it had to do with coming back and performing with the baton. And I read it once, I read it twice, and I replied, and then he came back with, can I twirl my baton with fire? I used to do this in high school, I, I, I can do it, I know I can. And I thought about our turf field, I thought about other, other things, and I said, we can probably get you in, but I don't know about the fire. And she came back, she performed, hasn't missed a beat, has um, really lit the school on fire in, in many other ways, um, touching many students in different ways with the donation from her and her husband, Jan, um, from cheer to individual sales, and most importantly, helping beautify this campus with uh, the gift that her and her husband have, have given us to honor a former student um, who had um, his artwork displayed before us on, on the ground and throughout the years, through the weather, people walking on it, it started to fade. So what better gift to give than to create something in his honor and that will continue here at our school for many more years so that students like yourselves and alumni can continue to appreciate the beauty and what this school means. Um, so I thank you for being here with us tonight. Um, and at this point, to give you a little bit more history about the actual gift and what it represents, I'd like to have Emily Tovar up to the podium. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Therefore, as a testament to that love and devotion, on this day, October 4th, 2019, we dedicate this bronze warrior head to present and future warriors from a class of 1966 warrior. But as we know, and is memorialized on the warrior head, once a warrior, always a warrior. Now our, our ASB president is going to accept the, uh, the gift of this donation. So on behalf of the Associated Student Body, we gladly receive this plaque that you have honored to us, and you have, you're a representation of the epitome of what it means to be once a warrior, always a warrior. It stands here today to represent the past warriors, present warriors, and future warriors that are to come. Thank you so much for your gift. for you guys today and all of today's alumni that's here and that I just saw in the gym to know once a warrior we're always a warrior and some of the best friendships be me from seventh grade from Willow and all my girlfriends from Willow um, I'm still really close friends with and for you know all future and all of us so uh, once a warrior always a warrior you guys <laughs> um, when alumni come back and they see the passion and the commitment that the current students have, that you are true warriors, and that you believe in your school and you do the best that you can for your school. That's what makes them believe that they need to give back, because you are a true reflection of who they were. Um, I was fortunate enough to um, interview uh, a number of people that were dedicated that wanted to be the principal here. And Mr. Sanchez was chosen because he just bleeds orange and black. He truly does. And we, um, I was able to have the opportunity to be here as part of that celebration when it turned 100. And um, all of the graduating seniors that year were in their white robes. And we had the fireworks. Um, thank you, Mrs. Bowie, for allowing us to have the insurance so that I could do that on turf. And, um, and the doves that flew. And that was really, um, the heart and soul of this school district is La Puente. And I really, really am just grateful to be able to have an opportunity to say thank you to all of you, because you are the epitome and, the ex um, and exemplify the power, uh, the compassion, and the kindness of all the students of this district. Thank you. A little token of appreciation from myself, my staff, 
our students and the, and the district of Austin, the La Puente Unified School District for your gift, your donation, just a little plaque. Thank you. Thank you. On it, I did not include Jan's name on there because there's always a saying, behind every good man, there's, there's, there's a great woman, and I truly believe that. In this case, there's a great man behind a wonderful woman who has been there on her side, encouraging her, supporting her, and making sure that she had everything to make her dream of giving back to the school possible. So I do thank the two of you from the bottom of my heart for the ongoing support, love, and giving heart to La Puente High School. Thank you for being here, and this concludes our ceremony. Have a great rest of the day.